Garland ISD is getting angry calls and emails from people upset about an Islamic conference on school district property. Some claim one of the speakers is a controversial Islamic and civic leader who has supported radical views in the past. Fox Wars' Richard Ray is at the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland where that conference is supposed to be held. Richard? Good evening, Clarice. First and foremost, let's be clear about this. Garland Schools owns the building, but they're just leasing it out. They have nothing to do with this conference. Conference supporters say it actually is promoting peace, that it's anti-terrorism, but one of its speakers in particular has become a lightning rod for criticism. My name is Brother Siraj Wahaj. I'm the Imam of Masjid al Taqwa in Brooklyn, New York. The scheduled keynote speaker at Saturday's conference is an imam from New York, identified by federal authorities as an unindicted co-conspirator in the 1993 World Trade Center bombings. Siraj Wahaj denied involvement but did defend convicted plotters. And a New York Post article says he called the FBI and the CIA the real terrorists. The Garland Conference is entitled Stand with the Prophet in Honor and Respect. It's hosted by a group from Chicago, Sound Vision. Its flyer asked participants if they are frustrated with Islamophobes defaming the Prophet, but also if they are fuming over extremists like ISIS who give a bad name to Islam. So I don't know if now is the right time. Definitely maybe not any time would be a right time for this type of conference with these type of speakers. Former Republican Congressman Alan West is now CEO of Dallas-based National Council for Policy Analysis and critical of Garland ISD for leasing the center. But there comes a point where we have to start looking and saying, uh, is freedom of speech being turned into seditious speech? Uh, speech that can undermine our constitutional republic and our fundamental principles and values. There's some level of a misconception. Garland ISD says they've been getting dozens of calls and emails from people who are misinformed, led to believe it's a school-sponsored event, when GISD has simply leased out the building as it does to many different groups. We have to remain non-discriminatory in, in who we lease the, the facility to. This event is for promotion of peace, for the promotion of understanding. The Council of American Islamic Relations is not involved in the conference, but CARE's executive director calls the protests ironic that the conference seeks to combat hate and terror, that opponents are quoting Siraj Wahaj out of context. Perhaps he does have some controversial things that he said over the years, and they're using that as their platform and their galvanizing tool. Um, to bring people who are fearful or who hate Islam and who hate Muslims to come and, and, um, and protest against this conference. Garland, please tell me they have been asked to add additional officers, officers rather, to this uh, Saturday event because of the threat that there may be protesters who come and try to stop it. And Clarice, there is a website out there now uh, against the uh, event, uh, urging people to come and protest. Uh, the common, uh, the people who organized the Facebook page seem to be trying to tamp it down a little bit, but a lot of the comments are pretty angry. And uh, uh, Aaliyah uh, Salem says she's worried about that. Richard Ray live tonight in Garland.